Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. INEC proposes law to curb frequency of by elections. Hello, wonderful people. How are you doing today? The Independent National Electoral Commission of Nigeria is proposing a new law that will affect how elections how by elections with respect to, for instance, say uh, a senator or somebody, a governor or somebody dies. And so before the year ends, there is a by election to get a replacement and what have you. INEC is proposing a law to curb all that to make sure that this does not become a current, a constant occurrence. Like you hear in some country, in some states, we have um, by elections, like in Lagos, where we have the sanitaria by elections recently as a result of one issue or the other my people please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time you need to be aware what is going on currently now in the politics of the country the independent national national electoral commission is proposing sweeping reform to ensure the national electoral process and contest under the reform, the details of which was released yesterday, the Commission is seeking an amendment to Section 68, 109, and 177 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, as part efforts to curb the frequency of by elections. If passed into law, a lawmaker either from the National Assembly or state legislation who resigns his legislative seat on account of ill health or to contest for a higher elective position, among others, will be replaced by the candidate of the party with the next high vote in the election. So instead of conducting fresh election, eh, take for instance, somebody was a senator representing a senatorial district in a particular state. Yes, okay, that senator now, it's time for elections, the general election in that state, decided because you cannot contest, as you cannot be a senator and still be, for instance, contesting to become a governor in that same state. That senator now says, I want to go for, become a governor. So he's now contesting to become a governor. Of course, he has to resign first as a senator as you cannot you know occupy to the same seat or be contesting for the other is against nigerian constitution so what happened previously is that senator will resign then they will conduct a fresh by election remember that the whole election process and what have you materials money personnel so they are proposing a law to say instead of that to be the order why a new election will be conducted what about the runner-up Okay, say for instance, somebody won, somebody was, was, uh, was, was, somebody became first. There is always a second and a third. So it's say for instance, ill health, death, uh, resigning to be going to a higher position. It should just be the runner up taking, uh, going straight for the position instead of a fresh election be conducted. Let's continue. The proposal also seek a legal framework to en enable the political party that sponsors a late candidate to replace him through his internal mechanism rather than compared to whole fresh primaries to pick a replacement at the extent and the, pra and, and the practices. Besides, the commission is pushing for an amendment to section 285 of the constitution to make it possible for all pre-election disputes to be conducted before the conduct of any general election. The INEC is also sponsoring the amendment of section 78 and 84 of the Electoral Act to enable political associations wishing to be registered as political parties to file the application and all proceedings concluded at least 12 to 18 months before the general election and the same thing to apply to political parties wishing to merge. The INEC National Commission in charge of the information and voters' education, Festus Okoye, gave details of the impending reform at the last weekend of the 2020 ANA Summit of Political Parties. Festus Okoye gave details on the impending reform at the weekend at the 2020 ANA Summit of Political Parties and Stakeholders within the two decades of political of party politics and democracy in Nigeria, issues and prospects. The event was jointly organized in Abuja by the National 
by the Nigerian Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies, NIPSS, and Political Parties Leadership and Policies Training Center. According to him, altering the provision of the Constitution with a bearing on the electoral process must be pursued similarly with the amending of the Electoral Act. He explained that the Constitution is the fundamental law of the land and the Electoral Act derived its potency and efficiency from the Constitution. He said, our proposition is that the registration of membership should devote the seat authentically to the candidate and political party that came second in the election, why the political party that sponsors a late candidate should replace him through their own internal party mechanism. This will endanger more, this will encourage more respect of the sovereign rights of the voters, make elected representatives more responsible and reduce spark of by-elections in Nigeria, thereby saving the taxpayers money. Giving further clarification to this day on the proposal to reduce the frequency of by-election due to the registration of lawmakers, Okoye said the aim is to ensure stability, avoid the distraction that by-election causes. He cited the situation of Bayesa, where two senators from the state, Senator Daye Dare and Senator Lawrence, re resigned their senatorial seats to bid for the governorship and deputy governorship position in the state. He also recalled the case of Honorable Amo, Amo, member representing Yola Federal constituency in the House of Representatives, who contested in the by-election to fill the Cross River Northern Sanitarian District position. According to him, another instance of such scenarios was in Castina, where a senator resigned on ill health and member of the House of Representatives contested and won, creating a vacancy in the House, which, if the law were existent now, would be filled by the candidate of the party with the highest vote in the election by the federal constituency. In all this, it is proposed that the party that came second should assume office by replacing the person and resign, that resigned. On, on pro-election matters, Okoye said the commission proposes for that alternative to Section 285 of the Constitution to make it possible for all pre-election disputes to be conducted before the conduct of the election. This can be achieved by making it possible for the court first instance to con conclude all pre-election matters within a period of 60 days rather than 180 days while the Court of Appeal can hear and deliver its judgment within a period of 30 rather than 60 days for by-elections matter and appeal court. He explained that the overlapping of the pre-election matters into post-election period posed replanning logistics and security challenges to the Commission. So these are some of the things that INEC will be coming up with and you need to be informed and armed. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.